Hey guys, how are you doing? Today is another Friday. Today is May 28th. And actually not a lot of uh, big things in the USA market. So today I will pick up um, eight rules of investment from one of the um, unit trust manager, um, David Merkel. Then actually because I read his passages. So actually today is not I don't want to every time that uh, analyze the performance so a little bit boring right so actually today then I will um, spend about 20 or 25 minutes briefly expand a rules from um, David Merkel how to become rich in investment and in your life so actually yesterday uh, or in this week our Falcon portfolio become much better right and yesterday it rise up back to 65 percent in 15 months then the best result best performance is 70 to 71 71 percent so actually we just feel percent then we can reach the past uh peak so i think now the uh, american stock market um the adjustment i hope finished it this time right so for anything you want me to discuss or for any topics, any performance you want me to analyze, so you can uh, leave your message under the YouTube or you can email directly to me by US Stock Market Weekly at gmail.com. So here is the covering eight rules to become rich in investment and your life, right? And your life, not only money. Because the last rule from him is um, money is not the eternity I think that's very important in your life especially when you get older right and you when you get older then um, how to say then you will you will ill right you will need money but actually um, I hope when you get when we all get older then we have enough money and enough protection from the society for your seeing the doctor for the retirement and then um, happy is one of the one of the most important thing for you to keep uh, keep your keep you healthy and then wealthy is useful if you very rich but you not healthy then it's no use right so this is our Falcon portfolio only now is AMD a little bit lower uh, 4 percent <laughs> means four dollars right that that means four percent uh, lower than what we uh, buy in others all is okay so um, this um, this year we earn uh, our performance is five percent and then last year is 55 percent I think it's still okay because this year last steps um, increased at about five point something percent so actually we still okay still in pace with the last step so this is yesterday for the Dow Jones a little bit right still at the top still is um at the top level about 44 and 464 points yesterday and for Nasdaq still at the top not 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 very top because you can see the top is 14,000 right but just about uh, 700 points then to the peak again so actually I think it's okay okay then uh, we quickly go into the egg rules um, rule number one is spend less than what you earn that means saving right that means saving in Hong Kong program I repeated many times even even up till now I have a sm small book for me I have a small book for me for every money every cent I spend I drop it down now I need it, don't need it but actually because this is a habit for more than how long I don't know maybe 30 years so I'm still keeping it um, actually this is very useful when you drop it down why many people will use other way around to do it all right you can use a uh, PDF you can use the app to help you it doesn't matter it's okay 
but the but the key point is you have to know um, when you not very rich when you just uh, coming out for work when you want to have some financial target you have to uh, mark down your expenditure mark down your expenditure then maybe after seven days you will will or say in Hong Kong if what you earn is 15,000 Hong Kong dollar per month and then you want to save 3,000 then for every week you should check All right if if in the first week you are you already spend 10,000 then I don't think you can save any money at the end of the month All right so actually is mark down is very important because when you mark it down when at the time you mark it down you are where you spend it and also mark down what you spend where you spend say I I just bought the shoes I just um, go to see a movie I just uh, bought a video game something like that then you know it make you aware where you spend your money this is very important especially when you are just um, go out to work you just leave the school and then go out to work you have to save something if you don't have your first power of money then you don't have money for investment right so the very useful way is to mark it down or another way is um, some people will use this way is say after the payday you have 15,000 Hong Kong dollar so you have to save 3,000 right so actually you divide into two bank account one bank account you deposit 3,000 first and then another account is 12,000 then for the 3,000 you won't touch it that is another way around but you still have to check the balance every week otherwise maybe yes you just have 12,000 there but maybe you spend everything in the middle of the month so you have to use the 3,000 left over so always keep track and I think this is the best way is to mark it down best way is to have a small book I have a small I have a very small book just about half of my hand half of my palm half size of my palm and then you drop it down every day drop it down and then one or two days you get the summary one or two days you get the summary so that's it right one of my friend he did a very detailed summary many many years before he did a very very detailed summary on oh it's paying for the time gas this is paying for the electricity this is for shoes this for recreation this is for um buying the food and this is for his children very detailed it's like um profit loss account <laughs> something like that i don't need you to do that you just need to mark it down it's okay mark it down and then review every week you will see something unusual say oh i want to save twelve thousand oh but oh i spent already ten thousand for uh half of the month then you can't well you fail so you examine which item you spend on does some of them not necessary so you can improve in next month right don't give too many excuses to yourself Why well, this month give ex excuse to yourself next month give excuse to yourself then you can't do it right so that's the very important rule number one is spend less than what you earn so you can invest you have the money for urgent use and you have the money for investment right uh rule number two only bear medium weeks this is very important rule this is a golden rule whenever you um invest or not invest there is weak there is risk if you not invest then your money will be eaten up by the inflation so even you not invest then you have the risk but whenever you have the investment you want to make your assets bigger you need you need to do something to catch up with the inflation then it's weak even you buy um america treasury uh, bond you have the risk 
but the wix is very 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 low very very low something like that if you buy the stock even it's one buffer you have the you have the wix but the wix is very low and if you have the ability if and only if you have the ability to hold it long have the holding power then the wix is only medium or medium to small so this is a very important rule is only bear medium weeks some people will always tell you okay then we take big weeks we have big return this is totally wrong no such thing whenever you uh, put your money into big weeks that is big weeks big weeks huge weeks it doesn't mean you have huge return huge weeks only means you will have a huge loss but it doesn't mean you will have a huge return no no such thing but in the contrary if you only take medium weeks or low weeks but you um, do it very carefully before your investment and then when the weeks is low and the chance is good you put a big sum then you earn a lot of money that is that's true because I did it before um, in my life of investment about 24 years my experience is no huge weeks huge return no no such thing huge weeks only mean huge loss it's not equivalent no direct relationship so only take something that is medium weeks don't take anything is huge with no use but never think that there is no risk no <laughs> nothing is no risk only by you not doing anything there is risk because actually your money will be it up it it up by the inflation right so that is a very important rule only take maximum medium weeks the third rule is very common in stock investment easy money quick money a lot of people buy stock they just want to earn easy money quick money one of my wife fan told her that she just want to earn two thousand Hong Kong dollar in Tencent two thousand Hong Kong dollars but one hand is seventy thousand Hong Kong dollar. She just wanted to earn two thousand Hong Kong dollars. So that is ridiculous because you are taking the say um, same amount of weeks, but you just want to earn one or two percent. So the rule number three is: do not always think you just want to earn short term money. No, you try to think you want to earn long term money. You want to earn big amount. Someone I I want to earn one hundred percent, I want to earn earn uh two hundred percent, or even in American stock I want to earn ten times. So your strategy will be different. If you want a company total asset increased by ten times, your investment strategy is totally different than you just want to earn two percent, right? And which one is more safe? I think the former one is more safe. Always invest in some company that is um, have the potential. Everyone use can last for at least five or ten years. Have a big, have a very safe financial situation. Don't just want to earn one percent or two percent. The risk is the same the risk is the same that means if you ask me if you ask me PayPal in five days goes up or down I don't know <laughs> how, how how can I know big right? way but if you want if you ask me in the long term say for coming one year PayPal's um, performance is good or not good I would say it's good the stock price will rise up but if you only ask me this Friday PayPal stock price will go up or down. I don't know. How can I know one day, right? So 
do not always swing to just earn short term money because the week is the same. If you just if you look at the enterprise in the long term. You want to buy some enterprise, the asset will increase ten times, the earning will be ten times, can last for ten years. Everyone in the world will use your strategy. It's totally different than you just want to earn one or two percent, but the width is the same. So bear in mind in this one. And this one is um I think if you watch this video, I think you do that by yourself. Yes. Manage your investment by yourself. Don't just buy the ETF and then don't do anything. I learned some friends. In Hong Kong, it's called MPF. It's something like the uh, retirement four hundred one k fund in America. They just buy it. In Hong Kong, there is restrictions, right? Because you this is by the law, you have to buy it. But for a lot of people, they don't have investment. They just depend on on the uh, MPF. Or if they buy uh, unit trust, then they totally just put the responsibility to the unit trust manager. They don't know. They don't know everything. They don't want to look at everything. But when they get older, something like uh, they retire, then they will be. Unless you are very very rich, then you will start to look at. What your um, unit trust will become, and then they will find out. Oh, sorry, the increment is very low per year. We will just one to two percent, right? So try to manage your investment by yourself. It's not difficult, very easy, but it is not. I can't explain in one or two words or just in ten minutes. So please keep um, focusing. Uh, on our program, then in the coming episodes, I will. Uh, if we have the spare time, then we can explain more on this. But try to manage your investment by yourself. Don't just put the responsibility to the others because that is your money. Rule number five is um, a lot more important in America than in Hong Kong because Hong Kong's tax is very low. Tax rate is very low, but I know that in America, tax rate is very high, especially for dividend. Right, like in Germany, um, David Merkel. Merkel is this surname is uh from Germany. I don't know. So taking care of the tax, right? In America, there is a lot of tax. When some people pass away, there is tax, right? Um, the dividend of the stock has a high tax. Everything has a high tax. So taking care of the tax. So uh, the reason of Warren Buffett is not issuing dividend or not selling out is because there is a lot of tax when you earn money. The government nearly share half of what you earn. <laughs> nearly share share half of what you earn. All right. So. Pay very, very pay attention to the tax. If you manage it well, like Warren Buffett, then uh, after maybe ten or twenty years, then you will see the big difference of not managing of the tax against where we um, precisely manage your tax. This one is also very important. Do not just look at dividend. A lot of people just look at dividend, like me before. They they just always shout out that I buy dividend stock. That means I buy this stock because the dividend is high, and it will give me good dividend. No. I'm still keeping some of the uh, public utility stocks that have good dividend, but that is only the thing that they have the monopoly. They need to have the monopoly, then it will grow up. If they do not have the monopoly, but they just give you high dividend, that means the increment, the increase of the business is limited. One or two years may be okay, but after three, four, five years, the share price will drop. That means you earn the dividend. That's okay, 
but the stock price drop a lot that means you lose on the stock prices you earn the dividend if for com some company like Apple Apple have the dividend just one or two percent other money it's kept for the expansion of the company the company needs to expand no matter what company it is like coca-cola or like uh, Walmart or like a lot of uh, global brands they need to keep the cash like Amazon to have the expansion if there's no expansion just pay by the dividend then you can close the company right so by just looking at dividend stock after two three four years you will you will see the stock price will drop and the dropping cannot be cannot be offset by the dividend this is my experience you can buy dividend stock but you should manage it to about 10 or 20 percent of your portfolio and in hong kong is different because hong kong's public utility stock they always have the monopoly that means only they can do it no other company can do it so they can increase the price no matter how how small it is so don't just look at dividend look at the balance that means one of two percent dividend is okay but the company need to grow up need to have the potential to grow up that's very important uh rule seven also i think is a very important rule is do not give up your investment strategy so easily i see a lot of readers of mine when the stock prices drop more than five or eight percent they give up they immediately change the investment strategy at the very beginning they will say this stock is how blah 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 and i will hold it for long if it rise up then i will uh, increase my holding but very very soon after the market go in the other way one and then the stock price drop like in after february march and then the stock like tsm it dropped at five percent or eight percent they immediately said they will sell it out <laughs> and they changed their investment strategy so easily i don't know why so very important is when you buy a store you need to do your homework well that means you want you need to examine the business examine the financial situation and also when there is the reverse wind coming it can hold for some time like taiwan now right it should be able to hold for some time otherwise you should not buy it if you buy it and everything's still the same just some one or two months not doing good then you should still hold it i see too many people and they give up their investment strategy very quickly very easily just maybe in few hours they give up just when the stock five percent and i immediately receive some email and they said i will sell it out it will tumble down, tumble down. how come right just few percent so actually you should uh, think about your investment strategy to be a reliable strategy stock price will go will goes up and stock price will go down it's natural it seldom stopped it there not moving for a few weeks unless it is stopped it right so actually think about your investment strategy more roughly before you do it once you do it hold it unless there is big changes like the lehman right like the, like the lehman brothers is coming then of course you need to sell it out right because the market tumbled down for 70 percent but for this february march only 10 percent why you give up your investment strategy right so that is um if you want to be um long winners in the stock market then you have to hold for your investment strategy but you have to think it very roughly before you do it the last one is money is not eternity 
a lot of um, investor, especially when they are young, they think money is very important. Money is more important than life. Money is more important than their wife. Money is more important than their husband. Money is more important than their son or daughters or their fathers, brothers or relatives. So this is a wrong concept. This is a very, very wrong concept. I encounter some of friends, they did it. They just, from, from in the morning they wake up and then they start the investment and they eating with the newspaper on their one hand and then another hand is um, holding the bowls and eating and then even they um, they look at the um, Hong Kong stock market and then at night is uh, American stock market they busy for whole day not taking care of the whole life then that is not an balanced life because money is not everything but I have to admire that when you still in this world right when you still not pass away then money is your God unless you are very, very rich that means unless you have a God <laughs> otherwise money is very important but the point is um, you have to balance your life right you have to do some exercise you have to have communication with friends you have to um, some talking some thinking right uh, some exercises or some social um, gathering something like that to make your life balanced happy and then take care of your diets everything do your body check something like that so actually if you if you think money is the eternity then your your life quality will be much affected by the stock market that means when the stock market goes down the world is ending right something like that but when the market shows up, you wow, happy, something like that. So actually, um, you try to um, try your best. Not easy. You have to you have to start your training by yourself. Not easy. You have to start to train yourself. Don't be so fluctu fluctuated by the stock market. It goes up, I'm happy. It goes down, I'm happy. To me, it's like that because 25, 24 years passed, right? The market is either going up or going down and my portfolio is either going up or going down right something like that that means every day i'll be happy I'll, I'll not be so happy or i'll be angry that is that is normal right so actually if you so easily being fluctuated of your mold by the stock market sometimes you will make the wrong decision and sometimes you will hurt uh your relatives like your husband or wife when your relationship is not good then you will not be happy if you not be happy then a lot of the investment strategy will be wrong or the decision may be wrong if you then if then there is a small bear market then you will be very frustrated there is no point to do that just like just look at Ron Buffett right always he's be happy because I read some passage is by Ron Buffett's um, employee or call it at the day of Neiman Brothers he doesn't have any change that is the old passage then uh, rise up back to the Neiman Brothers ages you know the stock market drops every day every day every day every day right and his employee said one buffer even it needed no change even the Berkshire stock drops every day. It dropped a lot. He even no change. Like the same, like the stock market never changed. He did everything the same. Why? Because he encountered more worse before. And it will rise up again. Because the stock is good. It will rise up again. This is her confidence is there. So I hope everyone uh, have this bear in mind. Monday is not eternity. Whenever your investment strategy is fixed and you have did your due diligence and it's good, doesn't matter. Just let it be. All right? Someone like Beatles song, right? Let it be. So that is um make an investment people more life uh, human. Not just money oriented.
right? This is what my opinion is. Okay, then we share this episode up to here. Then if you like this um, program, then please give me a like, give me your comment. And if you think okay, share to the people, your friends that you think they will like it. And then please hit the subscribe or at the right hand side, the bell icon. So whenever there is new video coming up, YouTube will inform you immediately. Okay, we share up to here and then we hope everyone have a very nice and happy weekend. We will see again in next Friday. Bye-bye.